Hey YouTube. So uh, a while ago I posted a video on gun belts, the important of gun, importance of gun belts, and clearly the other part of the equation is the importance of a good holster, particularly the importance of a good inside the waistband holster um, that can really support and uh, make for comfortable carry for a heavy uh, handgun such as a 1911. So uh, I wanted to give a review of something that got in the mail for fairly recently from this gentleman, Gary Bromeland. He's a fine leather maker, makes uh, very fine leather holsters, uh, pouches and, and belts, and um, this is uh, an unboxing of one of his products that I think is actually a very beautiful, functional, comfortable piece of uh, leather. Um, so, here's some information for you. I'd highly recommend you contact this man if you're interested in top quality um, gun leather, Gary Bromelin. Uh, re really interesting guy. I uh, started to look at high end um, ma uh, holsters and magazine pouches for my new 1911 that I did a video on a while ago. And uh, I was kind of overwhelmed with the choices, did a lot, a lot of research, and uh, he consistently came up as uh, a top quality maker. I called around, uh, looked around a lot for other top quality makers, and the waiting lists were, were just extraordinarily long. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't have a gripe about that other than the fact that uh, I'm just not patient. I called Mr. Bromelin and uh, I left a message. He called me back within, God, 10 minutes. We had a long discussion about what I was looking for, a very pleasant discussion. We even discussed hunting, shooting with, uh, with the kids, teaching people how to shoot, um, you know, all kinds of fun stuff, actually. Uh, and, um, and he gave me some advice about what he thought uh, might be a good product to try. Uh, from his product line and um, I picked uh, this holster. It's an inside the waistband holster. Uh, everything's nicely wrapped. This is totally a high quality operation. Um, here's the package it comes in. You can get um, your information from here. This is actually um, the, um, the, the service grade uh, leather um, and the name of actually the holster is the MaxCon 5. It's made for 5 inch 1911. It's service grade um, in just terms of uh, it's just some uh, cosmetic differences between a presentation grade holster but you know here here it is and um, just look at the workmanship on this thing. Just absolutely incredible. Incredibly gorgeous. Inside the waistband uh, let's put this aside for a second it um, snaps onto your belt. These snaps are really kind of cool. They're uh, sort of a one-way snap. What are they called? They're pull the dot. In other words, um, they're not going to come unsnapped because you have to press in the bottom and then snap them in. If you try to do it the other way, and it's true when you take them off, it's, it, they won't just pop off uh, your belt. This is one thing I think is really important for a carry holster. Look how thin this is. Very stiff, very well formed to the, to the outline of a 1911. The finish is just, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice here, but it's just absolutely spectacular. Look at the stitching. It's, inc it's incredible. Um, you can give you slightly different belt loops to, depending on how wide your belt is. But one thing you'll notice is the back loop is a little bit longer than the front loop. That's because when you sit down, you want to be able to have that back to move up or down, or otherwise it's going to poke the chair and be really uncomfortable. Look how thin this is. So now you're talking about a holster that makes concealability very, very good. There's no uh, metal band in here. I talked to Mr. Bromel about that for the purpose of reholstering. And he made a very good point. If you get into a scrap where you might have to use a firearm, you may get knocked down. If that metal band gets compressed, good luck pulling your firearm out. It ain't going to happen, folks. Um, if we take the precious baby, do a safety check, empty magazine, rack the slide, there's nothing in there. 
um, it holds to the firearm uh, if it just fits gorgeous look at the retention on this thing there's there's no external straps it just fits beautifully I'll show you what it looks like on and this is what I want to point out to you look how thin this is Isn't that credible I love it man it's really comfortable I'll show you what it looks like on and it, it this is a big big 1911 full size um, and this thing disappears when you stick it on um, you have to break in these holsters I want to tell you a few things about them in a minute um, but I'm gonna go ahead to the magazine pouch um, the magazine pouch uh, one of the you know do you really need an extra magazine in terms of you're gonna be spraying you know 16 bullets around not really but one of the big issues is that a magazine pouch uh, and the fact that you have another magazine really gets you around many many of the problems with that cause malfunctions. You got a bad magazine or something like that, you can drop it and switch it out. And here's the magazine pouch uh, that goes with that. It's a separate item, of course. It goes on the outside of your belt. And again, it's just beautifully made. These products need to be broken in. They're made to fit tight. The way you break them in is wrap a couple, um, a double wrap of wax paper over these, stick them in here, stick them in to their holsters, the magazine or the gun overnight and let them break in. And that's all included in a really nice instruction sheet on uh, how to care for these holsters that, that's supplied. Drawing the weapon is you know simple, draws beautifully to reholster it. You stick it in and then put your finger on the piece of leather that protects keeps the gun off your body and just push it in there. Okay. Now I'm going to stick it on my belt and show you what it actually looks like. I'll be right back. Alright folks, uh, so you can the light t-shirt on, a pair of shorts, you need a good gun belt. I did a review on this gun belt. It's a belt from the belt man. Bromelin makes them too. He makes really high quality stuff as I said. Uh, you can see that a full size 1911 with a magazine pouch is highly concealable and it's hot and humid, it's sticky as hell here today. Um, but you know, I'm pretty sure that's that's kind of hard to see, uh, especially if you had a t-shirt and a uh, pattern shirt over the top of this. That uh, tucks it away really nice. And I gotta tell you, um, for it's almost a 40 ounce handgun, that thing uh, is, that holster makes it extremely comfortable. Right now, because it's so damn hot, I'm not wearing a t-shirt underneath it, but I want to just point out that the bodyguard really keeps it away from your body. I would recommend wearing a t-shirt. It'll be even more comfortable, of course. I usually do. You know, put your wife beater on and strap strap on your 45 and take the dog out for a walk. And, um, you know, it's very easy to draw it. If you want a reholster, um, Simply pull up your shirt, find the holster with your finger, put the end of the muzzle in, then you got to catch it with your thumb, the bodyguard, and just push it in. Okay, drive it in, cover it up. That's it. Um, keep keep in mind that this this is a, a small business. Uh, it takes time to get good products. If you order something for Mr. Bromlin, please be patient, kind, and courteous. Uh, if you have to wait a while for your holster, and you may have to custom make it. I Give him time to make good on, uh, on delivering his product and, and you will be a happy camper. You know, again, just look how thin this is. I think this is a key to comfortable carry. Why, you know, why leather? I think uh, 1911s are made to be in leather. They do, they, they're going to wear your, your gun. They're going to put wear on your gun. Um, but I think you know, if you don't wear, want wear on your gun, you ought to just stick it in the safe and never touch it. Um, and what fun is that? Unless you've got some kind of collecting thing. All right, folks. Uh, Bromelin Gun Leather. Check them out online. I showed you the contact information. Uh, I couldn't recommend it more. Very, very satisfied with the product and the customer service. I think you'll have a good interaction. Support these small operations. They support you after all, don't they?